Here's a Parmentaria edule or some variation on the uh, theme of edule. I, I believe that's the species, but it could be uh, something else similar to that. Um, and there's also a Serifera uh, of this genus as well, but I just want to show it off. It's not exactly a top 10 fruit or anything, but worthy of being filed under the ethnobotanical files. There's a ripe fruit. I also have in my hand a couple of the ripe fruit. And uh, it's certainly edible, but it really wouldn't pass for anything. There's a flower getting ready to emerge right there, and a bunch of flowers on the ground. But it's a tough bush. It's uh, This particular stem is growing out from having been knocked over by a pine tree during one of the uh, hurricanes that we've had around here. And there's a, a branch coming up there that's growing up straight. So anyway, and there's a little lizard hanging out there. That's one of the uh, invasive lizards from Cuba. It's the uh, well, Cuban brown annual there. I think it's Sagrii, is this Analis Sagrii. I can't pronounce it, but it's the uh, best I can do is Sagrii on that one. It might be a different pronunciation, but yeah, there you go. Show me your doolap. Oh, yeah. So you're getting a, a little bonus lizard footage on this one, too. Let's see how close I can get without spooking him. Oh, he's pretty uh, standing his ground there pretty good. So, anyway. Seems to be choice with lizards, Parmentaria edule, some more uh, fruit flowers that just got done uh, flowering. I guess they're going to go ahead and push out a fruit. Uh, as far as eating these things, like you know, out of hand, uh, cutting the cutting these very thin, and uh, you could marinate them if you want, or just eat them, you know, as is. It's, there's not a lot going on in the flavor department with these things, but anyway, just wanted to document this. Give it a little space on YouTube.